Hello and welcome back to Frugal Girl Glamour. My name is Sadia. Today I have a very bold red eyeshadow look and kind of full face of glam makeup to show you. I'm first starting with a high coverage foundation. This is Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow. Taking my time to blend this in. I personally like applying liquid foundation with my hands just because it warms up the product really nicely and I just I like that kind of fingertip um, soft finish, I guess, rather than having the potential for brush strokes or blotchiness. Next, I've got my Urban Decay Primer Potion applied. This is the one, oof, I can't remember what it's actually called, but it's got a little bit of pigment to it, so it does white out um, and kind of create a nice blank, almost concealer-like base for your eyeshadow. Next, I set with Essence uh, Translucent Powder and then put on some good bronzer. This is my Wet n Wild color icon in Bikini Contest. Spreading that down along my neck. And then Summer Fling by Makeup Geek for blush. This is a nice bright orangey tone, so literally just a dab of color will go a really long way with that stuff. Brows are Urban Decay Brow Blade. Again, really love this product. It's a dual-sided brow product, so one side has a sort of liquid liner style brow pen, and then the other is a pencil. Set that all in place with my clear cover curl eye, or I should say eyebrow gel. And then a little unconventional, but I actually put a liquid lipstick on my lid as the base for this red look. I didn't really have a true bold red eyeshadow. I have a lot of red toned, I'm sorry, orange toned eyeshadows, and this really just kind of gave it that like hot chili pepper red that I was looking for. I chose this bright red as an homage or tribute to Snoke's chamber in The Last Jedi. I really really love that scene. It's such a visually stunning scene and it's something that has just stuck with me and it was very very cool to see Kylo and Rey fight together as you know being the forest dyad but then you know, they're not necessarily actually enemies in that moment. I really enjoyed it. I'm going over that red liquid lip with the Sigma um, just pressed individual eyeshadow in the shade Catch. And then cutting in a little bit of an outer wing with just eyeshadow, no actual liner. And this is uh, Sugar Pill individual pressed powder in, or I should say pressed pigment in Bulletproof. And it truly is black. It's one of the best true black eyeshadows out there. It doesn't come off gray. Once you build it up, it's it's pitch black. Just filling that out. I wanted to make sure I had enough balance against that bold red to prevent my eyes from looking kind of sickly. So one of the best ways to do that is to put a nice dark, either really dark brown or black along your lash line. That just separates the red from your actual eyeball, preventing you from looking ill <laughs> or like you have pink eye. And this is just a CoverGirl Clump Crusher in Very Black. Getting those lashes nice and big and separated. I believe I did two coats. And then I paired this with a nude lip. I didn't really want anything that would compete with the red eyeshadow. I just wanted the, the eye look to be the, the standalone. I am though creating some depth in that nude lip with my with my bronzer just by going in with a very very fluffy brush and applying it to the very corners of my lips and I do kind of carry it a little bit around the outside. Anywho, this is the look for today. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my Instagram too while you're at it. All the links can be found down below. I've also got all my products linked in my blog post too, so be sure to check that out. As always, may the force be with you.